All right, today we are making some really tiny little bowls for the dolls in the dollhouse. Um, stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, so this is a really simple trash to treasure. And don't think that you're limited to pill container blister packs. My daughter and I were talking on the phone last night and we both decided that some of the ones that gum comes on would make excellent platters. So since mine have a little bit of a residue in the bottom, I'm gonna clean them out. So to prepare this, I used a craft knife and I cut each pill whole. I guess you would call it the little containers there, so that I didn't damage the plastic. Um, and then I peeled away as much of the foil as I could. You want to have as much away from the holes, because especially any that wants to curve down over the openings. This is what it looks like from the other side. Hopefully the camera's picking some of the shape up. It'll be more obvious here in a moment. Because the next thing I like to do is actually color them. And I am using nail polish. I have three colors, plus I have a silver. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the silver on the edges or not yet. But I've got a blue, I've got a purple metal, metal one, and I've got a white. I won't make you watch me do all of this on camera. I am going to start by painting the outsides and then I will probably come back and do the inside also. And it's going to take a couple of coats. These are the cheap LA colors like you get at the dollar store. So it's not, it's not expensive nail polish, you know, it's about a, a little over a dollar a bottle. So they're not the best quality, but I use them so much. Um, any nail polish you've got, but if you're going to go out and buy nail polish, don't go buy really expensive stuff for crafting. Just buy the cheap stuff. It's okay. It might take a few more coats, but it's fine. So I'll do two blue ones here. I'll do a purple one. And there's a couple of us. I know a lot of us that have been doing miniatures for a long time. We know how to do this. This is not nothing new for a lot of us, but there are some newbies out there that may not know how to do this. And I thought it would just be a fun, easy hopefully low stress project for the midweek tutorial. Um, it's okay if you go around, get up on the plastic. It's, there's no right or wrong. I'm gonna try and show you, if things go well, I will show you a couple of different ways to cut these out. Now I know a lot of people do color these after they cut them. I find it so much easier to color them when they're on all together. So I am, I'll do two in white, and then I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to, that one, the lid came off without the little brush. That's better. I can tell it's coming out now. Um, and then I'll go ahead and turn the camera off and finish up off camera. Um, I may even decide to go find some more colors. I haven't decided. But when I get these all painted inside and out, and the nail polish is dry, I will come back and we can start cutting off our bowls. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, the nail polish on the outside has dried. I decided to go ahead and do some of them in silver and that's how they look like in there. And I decided to do the insides of mine all in white. And I did that for, <laughs> whether it's a good reason or a bad reason, I was actually putting my real dishes away out of the dishwasher and realized that every bowl I actually use in my kitchen, if it's colored on the outside, it's white on the inside because I like how food looks in them better. And I thought in miniature, I would probably prefer that too. So therefore I did that. So I think the polish on the inside is dry. We will find out in a moment. There are two coats on the outside and two coats on the inside. And we'll probably have to do some touching up once we're done. I'm gonna start by cutting strips. And I am going to then cut each one of these loose so that they are one bowl per piece. 
So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to get these all cut and then I'll come back and we'll start cutting our bowls. All right, I've got these all cut apart and I do have a couple over here that I cut. Now you can use a big pair of scissors if that's what you've got. I prefer these little cuticle scissors. These are just inexpensive pair of cuticle scissors. I've had them for crafts for years and years and years. So start out and I like to curve them towards the circle I'm trying to cut. Some people actually curve them out. I prefer to curve them in. Do what works best for you. Use the scissors that work best for you. And now these little blister packs come in all sizes. They come in different shapes. I think I mentioned earlier, like there's little rectangular ones that I believe it's gum comes in. Uh, I don't know what brand, but those would make really cool trays. Uh, some of these are much bigger or more rounded on the bottom. They come in different sizes and shapes. So you could do a good variety of pieces for your doll kitchen or to display foods that you've made in. And then just kind of go around. How picky you are about how much you get trimmed off the top is up to you. I do find that in messing around, they do kind of bubble up on the bottom. So I kind of use a cotton swab to push them down. And there we go. So off camera, I'm going to cut, I'm not going to do all of these today. I'll do three or four more and then I'll show you some options for hopefully decorating the rim. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got four of them trimmed up here pretty well. I've got two blue and two purple. So I'm going to try a couple of different things to see what, see if this will work. I think it's going to, well, it's kind of the same thing, but I'm going to repeat it in a couple of colors. Let's do it that way. So I've got some of the blue polish. I thought what well, might be kind of nice is put out some on, this is just a piece of parchment paper. And then let's see if I can get all of my tweezers over here. So we can pick this up. And there we have, now it has a rim. I'll try and get a picture of that. I'm also going to do a purple one with a purple rim. And then I had an idea. And depending on how deep you make this little pool, um, your rim will be a little bit wider or skinnier at the top of your bowl. Yeah, they are they do want to dent in at the bottom but once you fill them that won't matter as much and let's see if I can get this turned over yeah that looks really good I'll try and have decent pictures of these I'll do that once more well twice more do both of those and I kind of think it'd be better to have a separate pool for each one rather than trying to um, or you know put more polish on rather than putting more on and then dipping twice so let's see how this looks oh that's pretty hopefully it'll show up on a picture I know it's probably not showing up on camera all right I am going to turn the camera off I'm gonna let these dry and then once they're dry I'll come back I'll see if I can get them angled where the video camera can pick it up and I'll also try and get some good pictures so I'll be right back all right I think I've got this held in the spot that it looks like the camera is actually focusing on there is just a really thin silver border on that one and then we have this one that I did the same color as the bowl itself is done and you can kind of see inside there too I love how these worked out from one, like you saw, that one pill package sheet, there, there happens to be 25 pills on that one. You can get a lot of bowls, serving pieces, whatever, depending on the shape of your blister pack, for basically free. Um, I mean, those blister that blister pack would otherwise have gone into the recycling or the trash. 
Nail polish like this is cheap. It's a buck or two a bottle. Almost free craft. And something that you can fill your doll cabinet, dollhouse cabinetry with or that you can just use to contain some of the food that you make. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Be sure and hop over to the blog post. I'll have more information and hopefully photos over there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Are there any Trash to Treasure projects you'd like to see in the future or any other projects? If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye.